The snowpack in the Cascades is much higher than before after several storms dump new snow at the higher elevations, but it's also important for the lowlands and our water supply. Glenn Farley is live at Snoqualmie Pass with a look at the frosty figures tonight. Hi, Glenn. How are you? Well, we're actually a few uh, miles east of Snoqualmie Pass here in the snow park, and we're not only measuring this in inches, it's measured in feet worth of difference. Here's a big snowball. The question is, how much is this snowball worth as water after it melts? What's called snow water equivalent, which is one of the ways snowpack is calculated. We took drone shots just after New Year's Day a few miles east of Snoqualmie Pass off I-90. This is what the snow looked like then. It is less than impressive. And this is what it looks like now. Yeah, there's a big difference. The water for the shower you plan to take this coming July. The water for that cup of coffee in late spring. The water for your lawn. The water to wash your car and irrigate the apple you'll bite into next fall. It's all up here. Locked away is snow. This is water in storage. I didn't dream uh, that it was going to do, uh, it was going to be this well. Yeah. For the third time this season, I sit down with state climatologist Nick Bond with the University of Washington. Back on January 1st, there was still a lot to worry about. The reds and oranges, vast areas of cascade snowpack running at less than 40% of normal. Now those reds and oranges have turned to greens and yellows, the 80 to 90 percent range. East of Tacoma and Olympia, it's over 100 percent. Obviously, we're pretty close to normal, 90 percent for the state as a whole. And it does look like uh, the weather is going to be relatively wet for the next couple of weeks, maybe even beyond. I'm not so sure it's going to be as chilly as it's been. Also abating climate forecasts for February that showed temperatures turning warmer than normal. But Bond says when you look at the spring climate forecast, when the snow begins to melt into your local reservoir, could it melt too fast? But as we get into spring here, March through May, into the summer and uh, next fall, a lot of oranges there showing increased odds of being in this above normal category. Now, the peak of snowpack season for Washington State is usually measured on April 1st. That's when the melting sort of overtakes how much more snow is going down, coming down, according to the National Resources Conservation Service, part of the USDA, that monitors snowpack in Washington and, frankly, around the country. Um, they want to hang on to that snow as long as possible. The more they hang on to it, that's better for all of us in terms of fires and other things like that that will happen as the summer starts to wear on. So what happens today matters for many, many months to come. Live near Snoqualmie Pass, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. Glenn, thank you. And remember, whether it's warm in a few months or cold, a reminder that you can keep track of the weather and how it's impacting your neighborhood with our free King 5 app. It allows you to see current temperatures around the region. It also has an interactive radar, and it's really easy to get. All you do is text the word app to 206-448-4545 for a link.